Hello everyone and welcome back to Age of Empires the Definitive Edition. I'm Don Hayes and this is Campaign 4, Reign of the Hittites. From humble origins as nomadic warriors, the Hittites settled in Anatolia and built an empire over the ruins of their Hattian and Mitanni kingdoms. They adopted the chariot with great success and not only destroyed Babylon, but also rivaled Egypt in wealth and power. Lead the Hittites in their most daring raids and battles, from the dawning of their culture to their cataclysmic clash with the Egyptians at Kadesh, the first major battle between great powers in human history. From the northern plains, your people came to the land of Hatti, where the sky gods of your ancestors are unknown, and the Hattians worship the Earth Mother who birthed the bull. These strange people do not live by the hoof, but by the black dirt of the earth. They do not live under the sky, but in caves they build with their hands out of hardened mud and wood. They do not honor their chiefs with great earthen mounds, but wrap their bodies in reeds and lay them beneath the hearth, removing the skulls to paint upon. The elders say that the sky gods desire the land of Hatti. Your people will be their instrument in this land. Alright, so this mission plays very similarly to that of the first mission in the Babylonian campaign, the Holy Man. Essentially, we start with two priests instead of one, and we need to convert enemy villages to build a settlement, and then build an army to defeat the Hattians and Hurrians. Let's begin. So, similarly to the uh, Holy Man, we can't take out the Hurrians. The Hurrians start with too big an army, and basically, as soon as you try to convert one of their units, they'll just turn on you and kill you. There's not really a lot you can do about it. So instead we're going to take on the Hattians instead. Um, they're a lot easier um, to convert since they only have clubmen and um, villagers. Now the challenge with any mission where you've got priests is they are highly unreliable in how quickly they can convert an enemy unit. It purely depends on how resistant the enemy is. And it's pure chance, pure luck as to whether or not they convert or not. Sometimes they'll do it immediately, other times it'll take them a good minute. Like that, it was instant. And that one. So that's just a good good luck. Good roll of the dice, shall we say. Doesn't always go that way though, unfortunately. So I want to heal these guys. We need to be real careful with all the vills, actually. The enemy setting that many villagers is just bad, bad news for us. Heal these guys. So I do want to try and grab a um, villager as soon as I'm able. We also need to take control of their military as well. Wow, this guy is just not converting. And this guy was instant. It's just such a... So random. And how lucky you get, really. I don't really want to kill all their villagers. I'd rather heal the boys as well. Yeah, right, I definitely need a vill. Actually, this guy is fine. Welcome to the Empire. Let's go build a uh, TC here. Jesus, this guy is resistant. Wow. Really? Oh my Christ. That guy took about an hour to really convert. This is the problem, and this is why priests are like the most re unreliable unit in the game. They're good, but they're just unreliable. Now, um, one thing to note is the... Hurrians or Red will not actually attack you unless you attack them first. 
they do send an archer to you or send an archer to scout and that's the one thing we need to actually be really mindful of it's another two grab this last one I think we might leave we've got no resources left so we also need to build actually first things first we should age up with the excess resources build a bunch of houses I also want to build a dock Here. So the enemy will red will send an archer normally to scout. I'm trying to keep an eye on where that actually is. But yellow is essentially dead. They haven't resigned yet, but they will. I suspect they've got one villager around somewhere. They'll probably appear in our base at some point. So you're also going to want to put one person on stone production I should grab a second as well actually no I won't what I'll do is grab a stone wall upgrade okay now they resigned oh he's actually stuck that's fortunate why is he stuck how did he even get there Oh, he went round the sides. Okay, so that dot's just misplaced. Okay, fine. Put it there then. Okay, I'm gonna build up a massive eco as quick as possible. We want to build two walls. Now, although red doesn't attack us, it's worth building the walls anyway. We want to build five fishing boats, ideally. Building the wall just gives us that peace of mind. Hey, oh, you. Hey, oh, you. Ah, there's a dude. I might just nab him. Surprised he's still roaming around considering he's left the game but okay sure so we need to block off this other roads another path That was the scout dude that I was talking about. Oh, he's going to take forever to convert, isn't he? If he kills both of these, I'm going to be very unhappy. Wow. Nearly. Very nearly. Oof. need to not lose troops basically we'll let the towers deal with all that I really wasn't expecting that to die I'm not going to lie
So I wonder if it's the dock maybe that caused them to uh, attack. Either way, at the end of the world, just slows our economy down is all. They stay there so I can build up the pool. Just out here, I think. Oh, here. Yeah. Whatever works. Well, that was a uh, unfortunate turn of event, but should be the end of their attacks. I actually don't need gold. On the plus side, we're close to aging up because of fish eco. Time to build a couple of uh, things though. Should build a granary. So the enemy being this aggressive is actually surprising to me. Previously, they'd been very docile and just left us alone, so I'm not sure what the trigger is as to why they um, are now attacking us, but okay. It's not a problem, and what we can do is grab some stone over here, which I noted. Just build a couple more towers. So I'm build a couple of racks and archery ranges. What else am I going to need to build? Probably an archery range, I should imagine. This is built. I'm actually just going to repair that as well. Did a little do do. Did a little do. Bum ba da 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 da. Dum diddle diddle dum. Wolves in this game are so insanely powerful. It's like they cannot be understated just how much of an impact wolves have. I actually quite enjoy it when things don't quite go to plan. It's actually kind of fun trying to like find the solution on the spot or on the fly. Anywho, we should be ready to age up. Yeah, luckily we had, like, the entire time that fight was going on, we had um, our fish eco basically running. Which is why we were able to survive, to be honest. 
Like, without that fish eco, we would have really struggled to uh, have any kind of... Um, follow-up, really. Um, that being said, I wonder if it's the fish eco, the early fish eco, that actually triggered the enemy in the first place. It's very possible. In which case, it might be worth holding off <laughs> on building your uh, fish eco, so at least you've built the walls. I just cut a couple of corners, basically, and built the uh, dock earlier than normal. And lo and behold, the enemy attacked me. <laughs> it's quite funny. Well, to be fair, had I known that, I would have just built the wall on the other side. And I'd used another vill. Actually, we don't need these guys. These guys are not going to help us. So we can't age up again, which is fine. We don't need to. Bum 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 ba dum ba da ba dum bum. We do want a bit of gold now at this point. In fact, the enemy actually attacking us and using their troops up is actually a good thing in a way. It um ironically lowers the timing because normally they just stash up all their units um, when you wall off. Meaning you kind of have to build an overwhelming force. But because they've been constantly attacking us this entire time, their army's actually pretty small, I'd imagine. So actually it kind of uh, ironically benefits us <laughs> that the enemy's been attacking us this entire time and continues to do so. Like these are just free troops for us to kill. Bum 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 ba dum ba da ba dum bum. Our fish eco is starting to run dry though. That is a small problem. We start building farms. We also need more people on wood to support that. I say more people, it's more just being making them more efficient. Ah, oh, what a track. Definitely want to grab this. Grab this. We've got a couple more racks as well. house and then we're golden. I'm going to have to kill off the fishing boats to free up supply. I'm just grabbing all the uh, all the upgrades as we grow. It's actually kind of in my way. It was useful for its job. And now that job is served, it's no longer needed. I'm trying to put all these guys on woods, maybe bar one. We 
want some calf. I want board swords. Doodaloo! I wonder if we didn't need all that stone after all, but better to have and need not have and not need than to need and not have, as they say. Looks like they've stopped attacking us. The Huns are coming. Best track in the game. I love this track so much. It's genuinely one of the greats. It's kind of mad to think how good the music is for its time. Da -da. Oh, and it's such a chill tune to jam to. It's incredible. I'm not leaving anything to chance, so uh, once all these upgrades are done, I'm pretty much ready to rock and roll, to be honest. There is gold miner here, isn't there? Okay, let's get stuff on the global queue. See when things do go south. At least we've got a backup. These guys set to enemy. Yes, they are. Lovely, jovely. not get too hasty master baggins don't really want to get surrounded even though we do have a much better army still not the best idea <laughs> yeah, it should be gg and out pretty soon Got nothing that stops this army. Certainly benefits the fact that they were attacking us the entire time. <laughs> okay, so there, um, Woody goes over here. Good to know. Thank you for uh, tipping me off to that. Oh no. Just a tower. Oh, 
Yeah, having the archers on a separate hotkey is probably a good shout. Interesting. So they're not backing out because they got us tower. Well, you see the way that the enemy um, surrenders and whatnot is really weird in this game. I'm surprised they don't have a TC to be honest. Okay, unless they've got an island base. Maybe they've got an island base. Oh, they do. Oh, I see. I see. I didn't realize they had a base over the river, to be honest. That's cool. Explains where all the population's tied up in. Stop attacking the house. <laughs> Please and thank you. They're producing a lot of units. These guys ain't no joke, huh? They're still dead. <laughs> they just don't know it yet. Bigger army then, boys. They're still producing. <laughs> it's pretty impressive. Considering they've got absolutely no eco left. Literally have watchtowers for days. <laughs> yeah, I think not. It's a hard not a chance in hell. It took some punishment, Jesus. <laughs> you have pleased the gods and conquered a great land for your people. In honor of your victory, a tablet is prepared. It reads, Anita, son of Pithana, king of Kusara, speak. Dear to the storm god, I, Anita, the great king, marched on the city of the Hattians and took it in the night by the blessing of my goddess. In its place I sowed weeds and cursed the sight that whosoever raises the city of the Hattians again, may the storm god smite him. Alrighty folks, that'll wrap up do it for the first video in this campaign. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. If this is the kind of content you enjoy, then please do consider subscribing to the channel does help support the channel would be greatly appreciated do let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and as always i shall see you in the next video